How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the channel. With the Lakers having been linked to many rumors lately, many of which are very unlikely to happen, I wanted to propose 5 trades that they actually should be interested in approaching the trade deadline, and I believe they should actually have interest in a trade like these because they don't involve trading any of their major trade assets, don't involve players with any large contracts, and are overall realistic for them to make. Although it is fun to think big, and maybe you even want the Lakers to make a big trade at the trade deadline, there is a very low chance of it actually happening. However, that doesn't mean they couldn't potentially look at making a few smaller trades that could help round out their team a little bit better. They currently could still use more help down low with another big, and another 3 point shooter who can also defend the wing. Those are the two primary needs that I kept in mind while creating these trade ideas. But with all that being said, the first trade we'll look at involves trading Wesley Matthews in a future second round pick for Ben McElmore. With the Rockets currently on a seemingly never ending losing streak, they will very likely be looking to trade all their veteran players at the trade deadline. And Ben McElmore will be one of those veteran players that they will be trying to trade. He has gotten very irregular playing time this year and will not be part of their future. While he hasn't had a great year this year, he played very well on their team last year. He was a vital part of their small ball rotation and his ability to be a reliable defender and hit 3 point shots was invaluable to their team. In 2019-2020, he shot 40% from the 3 point line while taking over 6 per game, and because he often played at small forward for their team, he often defended players much bigger than he is, though he didn't have a problem doing it and really proved his worth as a defender in that regard. In my opinion, he is a player that really needs a change of scenery at the trade deadline. He has looked very unmotivated this year due to playing for a team that doesn't really want him there. I believe he'd be an upgrade from the current production that they've gotten from Matthews on both ends of the floor and would bring a lot more youthful energy for them on defense and while running in transition too. And by trading Matthews for Macklemore, they would actually free up additional cap room too, as the Rockets would be able to take in a little extra money in this trade to work. Getting that extra cap room would allow the Lakers to immediately be able to sign any current free agent that is available following the trade, or one that could eventually become available in the buyout market. But now moving on to trade number 2, where we have Alfonso McKinney in a second round pick going to Detroit for Wayne Ellington. If you are a regular watcher of my videos, this trade might sound like I'm beating a dead horse at this point, however it is a very realistic trade for them to make, and one that they have been rumored to be interested in too, and for good reason. Ellington is not only a great player and former Laker, but he would be a really good fit for their current needs that they have. Ellington is a great 3 point shooter and can hit very difficult 3 point shots at that too, which is something they really don't have much of. Kuzma and Caldwell Pope are currently the team's best 3 point shooters right now, but neither are really considered great 3 point shooters. They are both a bit streaky at times and can never be fully relied on from the 3 point line. Ellington, however, is a very reliable 3 point shooter and rarely goes cold from the 3 point line. He is a career 38% 3 point shooter and he hasn't ever shot below 35% from the 3 point line in any year of his entire 11 year career. Now that is what you call reliability. With that though, he can also be considered a 3 and D player too. He isn't an elite defender by any means, but he is more than capable of being a reliable perimeter defender. He is still a mobile player and can keep up with most guards and forwards out on the perimeter, and he is an overall good team defender. Getting a 3 point shooter will be very important for the Lakers at the trade deadline, but in my opinion, getting a 3 point shooter like Ellington, who can also be a capable defender needs to be a priority. They could potentially get a player like JJ Redick for example, who is a great 3 point shooter, but he is also a horrible defender. In my opinion, they need to prioritize filling their need of another 3 point shooter while also keeping defense in mind, which I believe they will, and there aren't any other available players who could be had for as cheap as Ellington could who fit that mold as perfectly as he does. This is definitely a trade that I personally hope they take a hard look at. But now moving on to trade number 3, where we have Wesley Matthews and two second round picks again being traded to the Rockets, but this time for Daniel House Jr. Another player for the Rockets who really hasn't fit as well on their team this year as he did last year. He was a good fit with their small ball team in the prior year and took full advantage of the wide open 3 point shots that he got while playing with Harden. 
His numbers have taken a dip this year, largely because he hasn't gotten the same kind of wide open shot attempts, but if he were to play with the Lakers, I have little doubt that those numbers would go back up. He is a really good catch and shoot 3 point shooter, and can also really be a good defender too. Due to his height, length, and athletic ability, he can defend multiple positions, as he often demonstrated while even playing at power forward in their small ball lineups. Being able to swap Matthews for Daniel House would provide them with a much more versatile defender that they could use to defend bigger wing players, which is something that they currently don't have outside of LeBron and Kuzma. And even though his 3 point shooting numbers have been down this year, again, I have no doubt they'd go back up while sharing the court with LeBron and AD when he is healthy again. In my opinion, this would be a big upgrade for them on both offense and defense, and after hearing about the news that Trevor Ariza has been traded to Miami and won't become available on the buyout market, the Lakers may look to acquire a bigger 3 and D wing defender like Daniel House Jr. through a trade. But now moving on to trade number 4, where we will be trading Wesley Matthews in a second round pick to the Orlando Magic for James Ennis III another veteran player currently playing for a team near the bottom of their conference. With Orlando likely looking to move on from their veteran players at the trade deadline, Ennis could be on the move. And I believe he would be a great target for the Lakers. He is a type of bigger 3 and D wing defender that they could use and could likely be had for pretty cheap. And even though it probably wouldn't take much to acquire him, that doesn't mean he has nothing to offer. He has actually been having one of the best years of his entire career and definitely his best year from the 3 point line. He is currently shooting at over 44% from out there and has been playing great overall for Orlando. And I think a big reason for why Orlando has been losing even more games lately is because Ennis has been out with a calf injury. However, it won't keep him out for much longer and he will be able to play again soon. And he really does have a lot to offer on both ends of the court. He was the primary wing defender for Orlando prior to his injury, and without him they have looked even worse on defense. He can defend multiple positions due to his height, length, and athletic ability, which makes him a great fit for today's NBA. No, he isn't a player that will absolutely wow you with his game, but he will be a great trade target for the Laker team in my opinion. Finally though, trade number 5 includes Alfonso McKinney in a second round pick going to Sacramento for Hassan Whiteside, another trade that I brought up in multiple videos now and one that the Lakers are rumored to be interested in too. While I'm not personally a big fan of Whiteside, the pros do outweigh the cons here for a trade that wouldn't be giving up anything major to acquire him. He could potentially really benefit their team if he played into his role and played with a lot of effort. That has been a problem for him in the past, so that is something that could hold them back from making a trade for him, but again, for only having to give up McKinney and a second round pick for him, I think the Lakers would likely be willing to do that. The only real problem could be Sacramento potentially being unwilling to trade fairly with LA. Hopefully that wouldn't be the case, but it has been a problem in the past. As we know, they hold resentment towards the Lakers, and because of that, they usually don't want anything to do with them that might include helping them. But who knows, maybe that wouldn't be a problem and they'd be happy to just get a draft pick for a player that they aren't even using, we'll find out. That will conclude the 5 trades I think the Laker team should be interested in though. Let me know which trade you'd like to see them make by commenting down below and we can talk about it there. That'll do it for this video though, thank you to everyone who took the time to watch till the end of the video. I really hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, please remember to drop a like and to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and turn on notifications to get notified right away when I drop a video. But as always, thank you for watching, and have a great day.